All right. Um, Mr. James Ryan requested this video or a video like it. I honestly had some good examples of this and then they were deleted from my computer. So um, this is just kind of a modified example of something I found. So not much really to set up. Um, I have two random variables. I have um, x is exponential random variable with mean lambda, okay? All right, furthermore though, lambda, the actually the mean of x, lambda, is actually distributed uniform uh, on the interval from zero to three. I wanna know what is the second moment of x, okay? And the claim here actually, and This should probably be proven actually because assertions without proof can be dismissed without proof, right? Uh, that you can use the double expectation formula for any moment. Okay, so the expected value of x to the n is the expected value of the expected value of x to the n given, in this case, lambda. I wanna use that right here actually. I'm gonna use double expectation. Uh, this is equal to, it definitely works for the first and second moment. And I'm pretty sure, but I hate saying things without proven math, but I'm pretty sure it works for any uh, higher level moment. So this is what I'm gonna write down, this is what I wanna use. First thing you have to ask yourself, and uh, I believe the confusion here is, when do you use this? You use this when the, the thing you're after, I'm looking at the second moment of x, when x depends on something else. If x depends, and this should be indicated by the question, if x depends on something else, which is also a random variable, that's when you use the double expectation formula. So I want to use this, use when x, or whatever it is you're looking at, uh, depends on a different random variable. And the reason why uh, I chose this example is because we do have to do a little bit of work. Some of these questions, they don't have to do that very much work actually. It only takes like two seconds to answer the question if you think about it properly. So this is what I'm after. Okay, so let's um, let's write down what we know so far. Um, we're given the question that x has mean lambda. Okay, so what you need to gather from that actually though is that we're given we're given that the expected value of x given lambda uh, is equal to lambda. Right now, what is the variance? What is the variance of x? The variance of x given lambda. Again, I want to just this is just really computing the variance of the exponential random variable x. Uh, you know that this is just lambda squared, okay? Right, because that's how you compute uh, the variance, which means what is the second moment? So from this. The second moment of the random variable x given lambda, how do you find the second moment? Well, you take the variance, okay, and then you add the expectation squared. So this is exactly uh, the variance plus the expectation squared, which is 2 lambda squared. 2 lambda squared. All right. We can actually go a little bit further, but if you think about what's going to happen here, um, we're going to need something regarding the lambda. So I want to compute a couple of things regarding lambda. Uh, namely, you're going to see that we're going to need the second moment of lambda. Okay. So we also have, we have these two things. And I also have, uh, well, I know that the expected value of lambda, lambda is a uniform random variable. You know that to find the expectation, uh, you take uh, the sum of the endpoints, A and B, so 3 plus 0, and divide by 2. So this is 3 halves. And you also know uh, that the variance is always the length of the interval, 3 minus 0, square it, divide by 12. So this is 3 minus 0 squared, which is 9, over 12. I guess I can reduce this divide by 3, so this is 3 fourths, 
all right? Why am I doing this? Because you're going to see, hopefully, that I need the second moment of lambda. What is the second moment of lambda? So uh, the second moment of lambda, then, same idea. I'm going to add the variance to the first moment squared. So 9 over 12, or sorry, 3 fourths plus 9 fourths. 3 fourths plus 9 fourths is 12 fourths. And does it work out to be this nice? This is equal to 3, right? That's pretty damn nice, considering the example I just made up. All right, so that tells me that the expected value uh, of x squared, which is equal to the expected value of the expected value, using the double expectation of x squared given lambda, just com compute each of these individually. This is the expect expectation. We just computed this. This is 2 lambda squared, which is equal to, bring the 2 out, times the second moment of lambda squared, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. So that tells me the second moment. That takes care of the problem. Tell me what you think. Hope it helps.